calling your man your ex's name, big and fat and utter mez. My channel i hope everyone's doing okay and everyone is doing well as always another night another what <laughs> another love island review honey so as i usually end up with say if you haven't yet subscribed of course be sure to subscribe and please get cozy and comfy with your hot ravina and your snacks mm -hmm. i don't know that's right i need to stop doing that but i can't stop i actually cannot stop but anyway yeah get cozy comfy with your hot ravina and your snacks and i really hope you enjoy the rest of this review all right okay okay all right so let's start off with the beginning scene when Luca was hitting um Gemma's no what was he doing he was hitting Gemma's back against his chest so basically pulling her like that I don't know if he thought it was funny personally for me I find things like that quite annoying but um of course Gemma was like you know like Luca stop Luca stop Jax huh? pause 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 calling your man your ex's name big and fat and utter mez up okay huge mez up so obviously of course like Luca gets irritated straight away um and everyone the worst thing was is it wasn't even something that was done discreetly it's something that everyone in the villa did actually hear so everyone in the villa was like you heard that right did you hear that did you hear that so Luca of course walks away he's irritated he's angry Jackson Gemma now end up having a chat inside and she of course was thinking about oh my gosh what happened and if anything I do kind of like Jack's approach to it Jack's was very 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 mature of the whole situation was like you know you obviously do have to apologize like can you imagine that like, you said my name blah 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 i feel like um he probably is having fun with the whole situation but also at the same time remember he did say when he first joined the villa that he is going to have Gemma's back so um i do feel like it was nice with the approach that he had in terms of like you know you do have to apologize personally okay this is just me personally i don't think that they should have walked out together although yes they can be really friends they, they can be really friends sorry they can be really mutual and of course they can be friends in the villa i feel like just because they know a lot of people naturally are going to speculate things when they have private chats or they go and have chats here and there it would have been best if they walked out separately i don't feel like they should have walked out together so of course um luca is sitting with the guys and he's just speaking about the whole situation like oh, yeah, i'm angry i'm pissed i'm this and that and personally okay if i'm going to be honest even when him and Gemma had the chat i do feel like at first he was coming across as being extremely nonchalant very blunt about it too i can tell he was irritated i mean bro how are you calling me your ex's name? And the ex is right there. Ugh, come on, respect me small. Do you get what I mean? But um, they were having a conversation. And at first, I do think it was a bit awkward. I didn't just notice this. Also, some people on the TR, and also my friend noticed this as well, was it... It low-key came across like, either one, Gemma doesn't know how to have good eye contact with people. Or number two, it's like... There's literally scenes where you can see Gemma looking at the camera and then looking back. I don't know. I'm not saying she like done that as a joke or anything, but I do feel like she did try to make the situation a bit lighthearted. And I get why she maybe would have done that because she didn't mean it. But um, I do feel like her apology was absolutely whack. It almost like it had to be squeaked like why did i do that my neck hurts now but literally it's like it had to be squeezed out of her um personally i think the apology was whack i definitely understand why luca was irritated but at the same time we do know from yesterday's episode that luca reacts differently to that average person so he definitely looks at things more strongly than others and um, we do know he probably may be a tad insecure at the fact that Jax is in the villa um, and things like that but they ended up having a laugh and she smiled at him he smiled at her and then they ended up smiling and I guess the apology was done but personally I feel like she definitely should have apologized a bit more I feel like she tried to I'll say like water down the situation and I don't know how I feel about that but yeah, I think they're, they're both very interesting. That's just my take. I definitely think they're both very interesting. So let's move on to Tasha and Andrew. Um, like I said yesterday, I don't have much to say. I think they're actually quite boring. So let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to Ikenna. So Ikenna ended up getting a text that the hideaway was open. Personally, when the text did come out, I was a bit surprised that the hideaway was open so soon. But also number two, I was thinking, who would I actually, if I was in the villa as well, who would I say should go into the hideaway? Amber literally shouted from the top, okay? Like, she literally shouted from the top of her lungs. She screamed Tasha and Andrew, and I feel like once she said that, everyone else was also able to kind of, like, egg on to that whole Tasha and Andrew, Tasha and Andrew. So everyone, of course, were like, Tasha and Andrew, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're prepping them for <clears throat> an interesting night. Personally, I did say this, and I said this in the, I think, my first impressions review. I do feel like Tasha is just one of those girls that are quiet, but you need to watch out okay you need to watch out for girls like that um 
yeah very interesting we don't really know what happened of course but uh -huh, very interesting of course the following morning now um they were updating everyone on their night you know the people that didn't make it to the hideaway were just wondering oh what do you think happened do you think they kissed do you think they done that so the girls are updating the girls and then the guys are updating the guys um now one very 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 interesting topic of conversation that came up during the morning meeting as we like to call it um was auntie cctv aka ekansu she was saying about she was speaking to the girls and she was speaking about how much she wants Stabile to graft a bit more like he doesn't even bring her tea or coffee or things like that um what was quite funny was Ambo and Ambo was like oh my gosh like I love when Dami brings me coffee and at first it came across like is she trying to throw dicks but I think literally she only done that so that Davide can kind of like wake up and you know get on to the hint but I don't feel like Davide did um so yeah Ekin Sue even ended up crying and I won't lie when I saw her crying I was just like okay you know what although Auntie CCTV did Loki throw herself at Davide because if she didn't, she probably still wouldn't, she wouldn't be coupled up with him. At the same time, as a certified lovely girl myself, little things matter, okay? And even down to tea and coffee, if you know I like something, you guys know I like hot Rabina. If you know I like hot Rabina, after a long day, babe, make me a hot Rabina. So I do definitely get where Ekansu is coming from. The crying for me was definitely something. Um, as you guys know as well, she was sitting down in, you know, like their beauty slash makeup room. And funny enough, who walks in? Davide walks in. But Davide walks in with just Italian and vibes. He actually walks in. I think one of the girls in the room made a comment like, oh, the weather's nice outside. He was just like, yeah. And just walks back out. Like, no sense of urgency <laughs> at all to basically see maybe if Ekansu was thirsty, maybe get her a tea or coffee. Ask how she's doing. It's she just in, Italian, out and vibes. So, um... Yeah, I do feel like it's quite interesting. I did say it already when they did couple up. I feel like they are 100% sexually attracted to one another. But in terms of like deep and meaningful conversations, I feel like it doesn't pass, it doesn't go past, sorry, that sexual attraction. So on one hand, I am on Ekansu's side in terms of like, you know, do the little things that will make me happy and grasp a bit more. But then on the other hand, I'm just like, okay, but you've done a lot to try and get him to couple up with you. So you can't expect him to do certain stuff when he probably isn't that interested in you anyway. And I know that's really harsh. I know it's definitely really harsh, but what can you do, eh? What can you do? So let's move on to Paige and Jax having a nice little conversation on the beanbags. I do like them together, I can't lie. I definitely feel like Jax is extremely charming. I feel like Paige is extremely lovely. They seem to have very good banter and very good chat between them. So it would be nice to see how they do develop in the villa, but I like them for now. Do you like Paige and Jax? Let me know if you like Paige and Jax, but I definitely like Paige and Jax together. So, dum, 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 dum. Why am I singing and why am I dancing? Let's move on to India. So India was speaking to Ikenna, okay? And this is a conversation that we have seen repeat itself in the past few episodes. So I guess hearing it again just kind of reiterates for India that I'm not overthinking it. These thoughts and these feelings are very valid. And one thing about a girl is if you have a gut feeling about something, 99.9% .9 of the time you are actually correct. But India was speaking with the girls and she basically said that she doesn't really know where things are going. She feels like they speak and then sometimes the conversations go really flat and she doesn't feel like there's any effort on his side. Um, I definitely hear it if I'm gonna be honest with you because although you can kind of see that maybe Kenna is like a bit shy and a bit awkward. When a guy really likes a girl, it's clear that a guy really likes a girl and maybe she just from her end doesn't feel like he's really putting in the effort like he needs to be putting it in. Um, so the girls are basically telling her like, you know, your feelings are 100% valid. At the end of the day, effort is attractive. And if you are a guy listening to my voice right now, effort is attractive. If you're not putting in any effort to try and get to know a girl, I promise you, she's naturally going to turn off. And once she turns off, it's going to be very, very, very hard to also turn her mind back on. So um, yeah, I think that was quite interesting because I do feel like as much as we do really, really stand and love India on this channel, and I do like Ikenna's personality, I feel like glimpses of it does come out. Maybe Maybe he just isn't putting enough effort into India and maybe her gut is correct. Maybe her gut is correct. Um, so let's move on to Dami getting a text. Um, and I loved it because Dami was like, my phone's pinging and that. And that's such a... I feel like it's such a dummy thing to do. I really like Dami Nibula. I think he has a really nice personality. He definitely brings a nice balance. And I feel like he's very level-headed. But as you guys know, there was a challenge. And I don't know how I feel about the Love Island challenges so far. Um, I know they're necessary to kind of like help with team bonding and experiences and things like that. But um, I don't know, I just don't really care for the challenges for some reason. Some of them I do, by the way, so don't hold me on that. But um, they ended up getting a challenge where the guys will basically have to pretend to be a mechanic, do some tasks, pick them up um, and then kiss them. Um, is there anything special I want to flag from that challenge? I don't think there's anything special. Number one, Ikenna was carrying India with ease. 
like she lifted lifted her up like a feather <laughs> literally like a feather um but anyway dami ended up winning that challenge so that was nice let's move on to amber speaking with ikena now this is something that your girl will probably do mm. Am I gonna say she'll probably do? I'm gonna say half and half. Your girl may do this if she wants to get into a guy's head, just to kind of figure out where he stands with you, but also to kind of allow allow him and alert him, Oga, you need to switch on real quick because the girl that you're in a couple with is starting to have second thoughts. So Amber was speaking with Ikena and she basically just kind of wanted to get the deal to understand, you know, where is your head at? You know, sometimes girls like it when guys apply pressure and 100% girls love it when guys apply pressure. But um, I guess that was quite nice to understand maybe in terms of like Amber trying to make sure that Ikena puts in enough effort before he loses India. But I feel like some people were saying, oh, why did Amber do that? I just feel like she was just doing it to be a girl's girl. I don't think there was a problem um, with her wanting to speak to Ikena. So yeah, I guess that probably was a reality reality check for him hopefully and as you know with the two new guys it maybe will be a huge reality check but let's move on to Ek and Sue getting a text that they were going to have a party in celebration of winning the challenge um I didn't really get that text if I'm going to be honest with you because actually in fact before we get into that yeah Ek and Sue was working out and Davide was in the background and I think Ek and Sue said something like oh like she was you know going side to side and she was like oh my gosh like my abs are proper hurting me Davide was in the back Davide didn't flinch Mama was still pulling his little ribbon things like and I was just thinking yeah this guy doesn't like her I actually don't think he likes her I think they definitely have a sexual attraction to one another but in terms of an actual coupling I don't see it working anywho as you guys know it's the night time and you know they start to get dressed they look really cute they're doing the slow-mo dance moves like you know and personally, I really like when Love Island do that. I don't know, I'm just a slow-mo girl. I love seeing slow-mo for some really weird reason. But anyway, as they are having the party, we are introduced to Remy and Jay. Now we spoke about Remy and Jay yesterday. They are the two new guys who are joining the villa. Remy is 22, which I was quite surprised to hear. I would have thought he was like 24, 25. Yeah, I'm gonna say 24, 25, but he's 22. Um, if you were on Twitter yesterday night, you will know that they were ripping this guy, literally ripping him completely. Um, they definitely found out that he has um, videos online of him dancing in the street. I think he's an aspiring rapper as well. I don't know, there's just a lot. But someone was saying like, listen, if you're going on Love Island, you better make sure everything about you online is and out of the way. So that was very interesting to see. Um, so as much as I did like Remy prior to all of those videos coming out, do I think India and him should go? They may look nice together, but I feel like India deserves maybe someone else, okay? Our good sis deserves somebody else. And then let's move on to Jay. Now Jay is 28 um, and he is actually half Italian. So his like tagline is, you know, um, I think Davide is the I think Davide is the snack and the main meal. Um, so obviously when they come in, the girls are like, oh my gosh, da, 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 da. Amber was saying, oh, you know, like they both really look cute. Um, part, some people have been speculating if Amber is actually interested in Dami. I don't know, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. Because even on the challenge, you know, they're supposed to go through the whole game and then you're supposed to kiss at the end. Amber was more interested in dancing than she was interested in kissing, so I don't know. But Ekansu, however, Ekansu said, I'm coming for blood, okay? Why did I get up? I don't know. But <laughs> Ekansu said, I'm coming for blood. So she instantly was attracted to Jay. Um, and Jay is actually, and I think he's a, uh, did he say he's an accountant? Or he works in, anyway, he works in finance. So instantly, they literally like, Ekansu was looking at this guy in his soul. And she was like, how old are you? You're 28, oh, I'm 27. You work in finance? I worked in finance too. Like, <laughs> Auntie CCTV is on it. She's actually on it. So I think tomorrow night will be very interesting <laughs> to see how conversations go. I 100% think that Ekansu is going to pursue Jay. That is without a doubt. She's 100% going to pursue him. It'll be very interesting to see who pursues, oh, sorry guys, there's a strand on my head that's really distracting. Yeah, um, it'll be very interesting to see who pursues Remy or who Remy ends up pursuing. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. I feel like the new guys were necessary because the guys are definitely chilled and really, really, really laid back. Um, but yeah, Love Island is just you know, it's, yeah, it's getting started. It's, I think it's getting started. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of my episode eight review. As always, I'd love to know what you also thought of that down below in the comment section. Um, I definitely feel like Love Island is getting started and I'm really excited to see how things are going to go as time goes on. So please feel free to let me know what you also thought of that episode down below. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe and what was I gonna say? Yeah, I think that's it. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Please do take care and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.